Proton Pack is not a toy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is not a toy. I've got my funny face little friend here, uh, Thing 2, who's going to help us out with uh, this video this time. Taking a break from the Proton Pack Detective series just long enough to show you something I got in the mail. I've been waiting for my Max Factory package to come for the last few weeks since I've put in the last order and got it today. And so I figured I'd go ahead and do that boxing unboxing video with you guys here today. So haven't opened it yet. I've got my handy dandy slicer here. Sorry for wiggling the camera a little bit sitting on the table. So, of course, standard procedure, we're going to get a box full of packing peanuts. I like to eat them. No, you don't eat the packing peanuts. <laughs> don't tell the YouTube world that you eat packing peanuts. They'll believe you. All right. So, not only did I order the bumper, which is the most recent uh, thing that was offered, but I also, I also bought the uh, latest cylinder pieces for the thrower and so I got the back cylinder and the front cylinder which are called the arc suppression coil kit and the counterweight kit on the Max Factory um, website so but commonly known as the back cylinder and the front cylinder so I got those and I also bought the bumper I was trying to save them on shipping a little bit so I didn't buy those when they first came out but uh, should have be caught up now so First thing on top here, with all the peanuts, is the big boy itself, and this is the bumper. And as you can see, it comes with the Max Factory things that we've seen with the smaller pieces, but nicely packaged and sectioned off plastic, as you can see here. It has the instructions as well with the little what do you call that little sticker with the number on it i got number 379 so uh, it gives you instructions it gives you all the little parts that you'll need with the washers and allen wrenches as well as the correct socket head cap screws that go with it uh, it does have the hole already drilled out in the middle there for the shop mount to connect to and the holes on the sides already pre-drilled for those socket head cap screws to connect it to the shell itself so happy to get that that looks like a good piece uh, one single piece there and the one that i do have already that's on my other proton pack i'll kind of get away or just you can kind of see it in the corner here this is a lineage one. It's one that was um, from a shell. I believe it was one of the um, screen used packs. I can't remember if it was um, the superhero or a different one, but it has the residue right there for where the pack did have the label on the wrong side for a, a bit. And the only one that I know where they did that was the superhero pack. So that one was one I got uh, years ago when I built this pack. This one is more of the idealized one where it's just super smooth and ready to go there. So a little bit different from the one I got, but I'm happy to have this one. Part PP119 is that one. I needed to edit it, just add one little thing in here. I did open it up. One thing I didn't note when I was reviewing the bumper itself here, inside the instructions here, it had the label that goes on the bumper. So Max Factory is known for having the best labels available on these foil backings. And so when you buy the parts that need labels from Max Factory, they come with those said parts. So you don't have to buy a set of labels afterwards to put on the whole pack because if you're buying from them, if you buy a bumper, you get a bumper label. So that's one of the perks for buying from Max Factory. So I did open up the package a little bit just so I could get that out and share that with you guys there. So back to the rest of the video. 
You've got one in your hand. What do you have? You don't know. It's in more styrofoam covering here. All right, so two of these are wrapped together. The one that you have is part NW107, and this one is what they call the arc suppression coil kit or the rear cylinder. So this one comes with not only the cylinder, but it comes again with the hardware that you need to connect it, including the barbs and the green wire that connects that to the thrower as well. And he's pointing out that it does say 14 and up on here, so you're gonna have to wait about five years before you build your own Max Factory pack, sorry. You'll have to borrow mine instead for a while. Yeah. yeah, it might be five years before we get enough parts to actually build this thing, but hopefully Max Factory comes through with us and uh, builds, uh, puts all those things available where we can actually build it. This one I've got in part number, or, uh, See, 0114, so not part number, but the issue number 114 there. The other one that I got, what number is that one? 0461. 0461, so a little bit farther down the line. So this one is what they call the counterweight kit or the front cylinder. This one's just basically the black cylinder there with the, again, the hardware that you need with the washers, the Allen wrench, and the socket head cap screws as well. And so it'll come with those instructions and show us how to put that in there as well. So again, happy to add these Max Factory parts to what we had already collected so far. I believe my box over here has what I had already. So I'd already gotten some of the knobs, something from DB Fans that you found there. Most of this stuff is from the thrower. I think the first part that we've actually gotten for the actual pack, uh, aside from the shell that's available to some people, but I haven't been able to buy it yet. Uh, the only pack part that I've gotten so far has been that bumper, and the rest of it's been for the thrower. So I'm looking forward to getting not only a pack, but the main part of the thrower so I can start attaching these things and seeing how they look when they're actually put together. But until then, we'll keep collecting them, putting them in the box, having them sit out and wait. Uh, I might have an avenue to be able to get me a, uh, a pack uh, shell a little sooner than I thought, but I don't have that in stone yet. So we'll, we're going to wait until I know for sure before I announce anything on that. But cross your fingers for me, I might be able to get a shell a little bit earlier than I thought. What you got? More peanuts. So we got plenty of peanuts to go around. If you need peanuts, I can ship you a box full of peanuts because I've got a nice box full of them here. So we're pulling, pouring them out. So maybe I'll stick these in your bed or something and mess with you. No, I won't do that. So uh, that's what I've got so far. Um, just my overall review so far of the parts for the Max Factory stuff. Uh, it's kind of incomplete because I'm ready to see what it looks like when it's actually connected to a shell or a thrower and until then can't really say but from what I've seen from just looking them over quickly they look like they're well-made parts and I'll, I'm really happy that they do come with the hardware and any kind of uh, mounting stuff that I'm, I'm gonna need the barbs I don't have to go and figure out which ones I need and the holes are all drilled for that kind of thing that's what really sets this one apart making it an easy build and something that keeps me coming and not want to phase out those parts for somebody else going and getting parts from GB fans just to go ahead and get farther along in my build. I'd rather go ahead and continue with this so that those holes are drilled out. I get all those hardware pieces and uh, it'll make it a little easier on me uh, in the construction process. But that's where I'm at with it. So for us now, we want to say thank you for watching and appreciate my helper here helping me out. Stay tuned for his YouTube channel whenever he gets one in a couple of years. He's going to do some stuff about Legos and video games. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
And I'll be sure and link that in the description in whatever video I'm doing at the time when he does to have a video ready to go. And uh, you guys can follow him as well. So Maybe. Maybe. Thank you, for guys, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.